sing. Uh, I am from Glasgow. Is anyone else in from Glasgow? <laughs> Lovely. Uh, I enjoy being from Glasgow. I love the effect we have on other people because sometimes people are afraid of Glaswegians, you see. It's because of the accent. It's the way we can make even a compliment sound quite threatening. <laughs> For example, the compliment, that's a pretty baby. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, tell you a bit about myself. I'm a very short uh, comedian. I'm four foot eleven, uh, which is exactly the same height as Kylie Minogue. Wow! Well, well. <laughs> yeah, that's where the similarity ends. I'm aware of that. It's uh, no need to be patronising. Uh, I've got one talent being this short, though. One talent. It's absolutely outstanding. One talent. I can stand up completely straight in the back of a black cab. <laughs> It's quite an expensive hobby, but I really enjoy it, to be honest. Because uh, there's not a lot else you can do when you're this short, apart from sneaking to schools. So, just for fun. You can probably tell by uh, looking at me, I'm dressed this evening as your lesbian geography teacher. <laughs> that I am one, yes, this is what we really look like. So, I know you may have seen some films where we look slightly more glamorous than this, but this is the reality. You are very handsome, though. You are very handsome, you wee sausage. I don't know my lesbian. You all look the same. And um, <laughs> I should say, for the men in the audience who might be slightly concerned by the arrival of a wee Jimmy Cranky lookalike on stage, <laughs> not to be concerned, because I don't hate men. There's a common you know, misconception that I hate men. I don't hate you. I don't hate you. I just find you all physically repulsive. <laughs> Most of you are thinking right back at you. Um, what do I do in my spare time? What do I do? I tell you, it may be a shock to you, but I really love eating. Give me a cheer in here if you love your food. I love eating, right? Not all women feel like that. Some women are a wee bit mental, right? Especially the thin ones, but are they happy, right? I spend most of my day eating. I get up and I have breakfast, then I'll have a wee snack with Jeremy Kyle, then I'll have lunch. Then I'll have a wee snack with Diagnosis Murder, and when you have something with Diagnosis Murder, it's rude not to have something with Murder, she wrote. <laughs> I just eat all day, that's all I do, right? But not all women do that. I read a survey recently and it was shocking, shocking. It said that eight out of 10 women, eight out of 10 women have hidden food from themselves. <laughs> Never in my life have I sat on a Saturday night with a tube of Jaffa cakes and thought, I better hide them. <laughs> And then half an hour later, I thought, where are the Jaffa cakes? And then the bloody washing machine would have put them. <laughs> women never forget anything. That is the point of a woman. But I was quite confused. I asked these two women once. I said, have you ever hidden food from yourself? And they said, oh, no. We're flatmates. We hide food from each other. <laughs> <laughs> the a cracking Saturday night. The two of you must have. Take the chocolate cake, Morag. I'm away, Shona. I'm away. But how lovely it must be on a Monday morning when you're getting ready for work and you open your pants drawn. There's just a cake there. <laughs> we need to shoplift. Yeah.